In this video, we're gonna be using Django templates to create actual HTML pages like this one right here and this one as well. So let's get right on into it. Make sure you're in your Django project and you have your virtual environment active. And what we're gonna do is go into our apps directory. In here, Django is going to look for your templates in a folder called templates. So let's make a directory called templates. Let's go into that directory. And real quick, what is a Django template? Well, in our case, a Django template is going to be an HTML file. And what's cool about them is that you can define some HTML and use it on multiple pages. And not only that, but you can take Python variables and kind of inject them into the HTML so that what is normally static HTML becomes dynamic HTML. Now, we're gonna be dealing with the dynamic templates in the next video. In this video, we're just gonna be using static HTML templates. We're gonna create two pages and link them together. Okay, so sounds easy enough. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna make a file in here called index.html. And I have some basic HTML skeleton boilerplate over here. I'm just gonna paste that in. And if you're familiar with HTML, you can recognize open closed HTML element. You got your head open closed, your body open closed and you have one single h1 element in our body that simply says hello world okay so pretty standard stuff now let's go up a level and if you remember from the last tutorial we were working in our views.py file and before we were just importing this http response library and sending it back with the words hello world now this time we have an actual html page that we can return in our index function so let's go ahead and do that we're not gonna use HTTP response anymore. Instead of that, we're going to import from Django dot shortcuts, import render. And instead of returning this HTTP response, we will return render. And render takes um, minimal two arguments. The first one is the request that you passed in. So we'll pass that back out and then also the template file. So it's gonna be a string called index.html. Okay, I'm gonna save that file, and just as a reminder, in our urls.py file, when we go to the root of our website, we're gonna execute whatever we defined in our views.py file in our index definition, which we were just working in. So that should all still make sense. Now, the one thing that we probably should have done in the last video was tell our Django project about our application. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go back into the root of our project. And inside of our project directory, there's a file in here called settings. We were in here before. And we're gonna scroll down to a section in here called installed apps. Now, we created an app in the last video called score, okay? And by default, Django has all these apps that they have pre-installed with the project, but we need to tell Django that we created our score app. And to do that, we simply just add in this list of other applications, the name of our app, which is score. Okay. And the reason I'm bringing this all up is because down here, there's a templates directory. I'm sorry, there's a templates variable. And one of the options in here is apps dir. Right now it's set to true. So basically what this is saying is that in the apps directories that you create, in our case, our apps directory is called score, it's gonna look for that templates directory that we created in the beginning of this tutorial. So we should be good there. Let's go ahead and save this file and we'll do python manage.py run server 0.0.0.0 colon 8000, hit enter. And that's gonna start up the development server. Now, from before we had this simple hello world page, if we refresh it, we should now see hello world, but much bigger because of the header one element. And that's exactly what we get. Let's take a quick look at the page source here. And we see our HTML syntax that we defined in our template. Okay, great, we have one HTML page. Let's create a second HTML page. Now, at this point, most people will probably, you know, go into their app directory and then go into their templates directory and then simply make a copy of their index file and make a new file called about go into about and you know take this out because we want to change this part of the page to say about page but 
that is wrong because we are duplicating a whole bunch of code like this, and I use code lightly, a whole bunch of markup. This is, this is something that should be defined once and used on other pages. And I kind of referenced this earlier in the tutorial where I said we can reuse part of that template. And that's exactly what Django allows us to do with template inheritance, okay? So let me show you how to set that up. I'm gonna delete this about page. So we just have our index.html page, which this is gonna become our base template, okay? So an appropriate name for that is going to be base.html. So I'm gonna rename that to base.html. And let's open that. And like I said, every page is gonna have this and this. So the only thing that's unique to the index page is this. So let me get rid of that. And I'm gonna define a block in here called content. And then I'm gonna close that block with end block. Now, this is the just the syntax for HTML templates in Django. You have this curly bracket percent block, the name of the block, and then you're gonna end the block below that. So basically any template that inherits from base.html is gonna define this as well. And anything that comes between here and here is gonna show up inside of this. So I think the best way to show that is through an example. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make a new page called index.html and this is going to extend from base.html and we're going to define that block again. So block content and just so we don't forget, we're going to close that block and block. And like I said, anything between here and here is going to show up in base.html where we define that block. So before we had header one, hello world like that. Okay, let's test it out. I'm going to save that file go back into our project directory and do python manage.py run server 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0 colon 8000. And let's make sure that we didn't break anything. So I'm gonna open this up, refresh the page and everything still shows up as expected. We'll view the page source and it looks very similar to before. We have a little bit more white space here, but that's okay. Now. Now is time to make our second page. And our second page is going to be a whole heck of a lot easier because instead of copying, let's go into that directory, instead of copying the old index.html, we can just take this actual new index.html and make a copy of that, which there's a whole heck of a lot less code duplication in there than we would have had before. So. Let's make a copy of index.html and make a new page called about.html. And now in here, we're only gonna change this one line, about page. Okay, I'm gonna save that file and go up a level. Now we have to tell our application about this new page. And if you remember from before, we can do that in our views.py file and we can copy these two lines, make a couple changes to it. So we're gonna make a new page called about, and we're gonna render the about page. Pretty similar to what we were doing here with index. So we'll save that. We also have to modify our urls.py file. So let's open that, and we're gonna add another URL pattern so we can change this from what we had before. Uh, this time we're gonna actually go to our domain name or our IP address slash something slash about. We'll go to the about page and that's gonna be associated with views.about and the name we'll give that is about. So let's go ahead and save that. From our project directory, we'll start up our server again and let's see if the home page still shows up. It does. Let's go to that slash about, and that shows up too. One last thing we wanna do in this tutorial is link these two pages together because that's what HTML is all about. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna minimize this, 
and stop our development server, go back into our app directory in the templates directory, and we're gonna make a link from the about page to the index page and vice versa. So I'm gonna do standard HTML here, a href equals slash, and then say go home. And again, this is what most new people to Django would do, and it's perfectly valid, but Django actually has something called a template tag for URLs that we can take advantage of the names that we were giving to the URLs before. Let me, let me show you how it looks and then uh, we'll dive into it. So instead of hard coding to go home or say we were in the, uh, the home page and we wanted to go to the about page, instead of doing that, we can reference the template by name directly inside of the template. So we're gonna use that weird curly bracket percent sign syntax again we're gonna use the URL template tag to go to the index page. Now, where's that index name coming from? Well, if you remember in our URL.py file, we have these URL patterns and we we're giving each one of these paths a name. So our views.index is named index and our views.about is named about. So we can reference them in the template with that syntax. So we did that for the about page. Let's do that for the index page and let's link that from here to the about page. So a href equals URL about and we'll say about page. Okay, let's test that out. And if we refresh this page, we got that link that says go home and we'll click on that. And indeed it takes us home and we go to the about page from the home page, and that works too. Great work in this video. In the next video, we're gonna be working with Django models, which allows us to interact with a database without needing to know SQL or any type of database language.